안녕하세요. We're in c h e c 여러분, 안녕하 e 요여러 another episode of my channel. And today, as you can see, like I said, we're in j e j u And if you're wondering how come it's not a Singapore vlog and not Indonesia vlog, it is because I feel like um, holiday never ends, and I already miss Indonesia. So, to extend our holiday, we decided to come to Jeju straight after Indonesia trip. So we're gonna be here for three days, two nights, and I decided to do this vlog is because when I saw Mr. Naughty in Indonesia, he filmed. Um, a lot about introducing local content to me and then the fans as well and because they liked it so much I decided to do the same kind of content I'm gonna bring you to a few local places and hidden spots in Jeju today while introducing other famous spots so join me on my Jeju vlog Let's go! Don't be too sad because I still have um, Singapore and Indonesia vlogs coming up, so stay tuned for me. Okay, so here we are at the first hidden spot. This place is called Andol Orum Kimiresu, which is actually a secret forest that is found in Jeju. It's the one of the more recent hot places in um, Jeju, and. To enter this place, you have to pay per person 3,000 won. When I read it on the neighbor, it was 2,000, but apparently they increased one dollar. But it's fine because there is a lot of photo zones here. So when you first enter, you have to pay um, the ipjam r o entrance fee there, and then after they ask you to take a photo of the photo zone. So I have it on my phone. So we're gonna go take photos, but. Here it's called Mysterious Forest. It's also because of the ways the trees grow. As you can see, there's a straight halfway here. And this is where you take photo. This way and the other way. Because you can see the truck in the back. And yeah, so we will be exploring the photo zones. And join me while I show you where to take nice pictures. Not only is there trees and flowers, but there's also like small houses along the way for you to take photos at. And then there's also a photographer to help you take a picture. Couple shots. Recently I've been into yellow colour. I'm the only one in yellow here. <laughs> but just nice there's orange flowers and yellow flowers to camouflage it. Pretty, eh? I think it's the season for flowers. It's not very hot, it's cooling even though there's sun, so very nice for photos and videos. So while exploring the photo zones of this place, I realized that actually there's a lot of locals that come here to take family portraits and wedding portraits and even just photo snaps with their pets which is really really cute so actually it seems like even though it's a hidden spot a lot of people have already found out about it and come here so if you're thinking to tour Jeju instead of the famous destinations that you have been touring so I came to this place and stopped by because we were actually waiting for someone to take picture but there's a cute swing here No, I don't think so. Ooh, it's quite sturdy. Whee! Found this other photo zone. It's called Tor Dam. So in this place, you can actually try to place a stone on top of other people's stone. And then they said that if it balances and doesn't fall, your wish gets granted. But I've been trying to look for a stone. I cannot find any stone. I need my wish to be granted. Leaves don't make sense, right? There's no stone, there's only leaves. No, don't take others. Yeah, I know. That's why I cannot take other people's stone. Oh, I found one stone on the floor. Okay, yeah, okay, let's not make it challenging because I might not it might not work. It's okay. 
No, I need my wish to go through. Is here counted? Ah, ah then how? Yeah, 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 yeah. And they go up there. Hey, you almost destroyed other people's vision. Yeah, this one, this one. Yay! Okay, your turn. Okay, what is done? Make a wish. <laughs> I can feel it's like. flat though, no? Oh! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, so I feel like this place is very nice for families and couples to come but maybe if you're a teenager looking for extreme activities this might not be recommended for you because it's really all about strolling, taking photos and just trying to make more memories for our life but old people like us like to do this so I will recommend it for uh, families like I said or maybe if you're a couple like us <laughs> married don't know what to do <laughs> you can just come and take a walk here and take some photos and make a wish so as usual when we visit Jeju we always rent a car it's because we feel like it's more comfortable and convenient for you to visit all the spots that you want to in Jeju and also um, I recommend that if you come to Jeju of course it doesn't seem like a very big island but it's actually very big if you drive from one end to the other end it's about one and a half to two hours so if you're planning an itinerary maybe you can try to like go one round instead or stay at one area and then move off from there or stay in the middle then move like four ways so that would be my recommendation for you guys and yeah I don't know what else to say <laughs> Okay guys, so here we are for lunch. Uh, this place is called Minge Hangari. Um, they're famous for their Muno Ramen, which is octopus ramen, which is a very famous food in Jeju, as well as um, this Temur Tong Kalguksu. So we're gonna go in and try this food. It's also my first time here, but I'm just gonna try it for you guys because there's really a lot of good reviews on Naver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's go check it out. Okay, so we made our order already and this is my first time where you can make the order and pay here also so we already made the order already and we decided to get this because it's recommended by Itzy from eh, recommended by Ryujin from Itzy I was like Itzy from Ryuji huh? so we okay so we ordered the Pamban and can pay Ooh. MSG tastes so nice. Mm. Well, I think this will be very nice. Okay, they will be. It's hot. Mm. Very hot, very crispy, very fresh. Mm. I think you'll like it a lot, try. Wow. Crispy right, the tea is so good. Wow. Mm. Mm. Very good on the tea. Mm. The flavor goes into the kagu soup. Okay, then I have a long. Mmm. I'm gonna so fresh. Mmm. Chum.
So we're done with our lunch and it was really really good out of our expectation. So after a full tummy, we're gonna go look for the second hidden spot in Cheju, which is a very special beach. I'll tell you why when we get there. Okay guys, I'm in the sea and I'm drowning! Woo! Anyway, so here I am at the Sumgyeonjin Sumgyeonjin Padakil, which actually translates to um, the sea path, a path that is being um, hidden when the tides are high. So as you can see now, I'm actually standing in the sea, but because the waves have subsided, um, I'm able to stand on the land. And as you can see, the water probably just went down maybe a few maybe one or two hours ago. I mean, I'm not very accurate, but because in Cheju, you can check online when does the wave go down. So apparently, this timing, which is around 4 to about 5.30, they said on the website that the tides will go down. And when it goes down, the path extends all the way to the edge there. So this is the other hidden spot that I wanted to show you. A lot of people come here to take photo. I'm actually in front of one of the more famous spots. Not more famous spots, the, people, the spot that the locals have found and uploaded on Naver so that we can come here and take photos. But there are other um, paths like this all over Cheju. All you have to do is do a bit of research. But I will leave where I am in the link below. And yeah, we'll probably just take a walk to the end and see how far we can go. You feel alive, let's hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break the back ball. Okay, so. One good thing about coming to this place that we realize is as you can see when you are here right there's a lot of this kind of stuff I mean I'm not sure if there are corals or not but okay there's like insect here not insect lah like sea creature here here and then there's more living stuff here so I think it's a very good experience to see because a lot of people snorkel for this kind of experience but if you have a bit of phobia or a bit of scared of going down into the water here will be a good alternative for you and as you can see because the water is clear salt water yeah you can see all the way to the bottom plants or coral yeah so guys when you come here right you have to be a bit a little bit slippery so maybe wearing sandals or shoe will be a better idea than crocs our crocs are so dirty now it's so slippery yeah because of the LP. how am I going to put that? that I have to introduce to you that can be done in the day. After this, we'll be heading over to a, another small cafe that is um, kind of a new hot place to have apple mango pingsu which is like a trend, I guess. People eat this pingsu during summer. So, I will bring you there and I will show you when I get there. 
dose She saw the stone, you know how that go Fatality, my diamonds that cold Versace trunks, I hit my backstroke Knock on the door, she at the back bro All it really take is a little taste Allen girl, blue eyes with a little bass Here for the thrill, I don't need a chase, sir Wanna vibe it to get away Shimmy, shimmy, y'all got the semi four way Don't step out the line like this a probate Okay, good morning! It's day two in Jeju and um, today we're gonna bring you on another journey to um, introduce some places to you in Jeju but to conclude yesterday because we were too tired when we checked in we fell asleep oh, actually I fell asleep and when we woke up it was too tired so we couldn't eat the bingsu because it was closed but we woke up and then after we went to nearby to get um, black pig dinner which is very very famous in Jeju and it tasted really really good and it never ever disappoints so that's for yesterday and today as you can see Songsan Ilchubo it's so nice here so people climb this mountain mountain? Okay. yeah people climb this mountain on the first day of new year because they wanted to see the sunrise Korea this is the place the sun rises first that's why people come here to see but because I've been here many many times already not many like three times um, I wouldn't be touring here but I do recommend you to go there if it's your first time in Jeju but looking at this water because I thought of doing some water activity without getting wet we will bring you to the next activity and I will show you when I get there Ta -da! Okay guys so here we are at a kayak station so they have a lot of activities here that is related to water sport but like I said because I don't want to get wet we're gonna sit the kayak that has a tumyong, like transparent bottom so that we can see the sea and the life underneath so we already paid and let's get on this transparent one there is a um, professional one there as you can see the fella oh, yeah. that one I think I don't know whether there's string I think there is but you can go very far so that's transparent and you can do snorkeling also yeah so apart from that you also can take the boat yeah so it's kind of a one-stop recreation center for everything and I realize Jeju has a lot of this. This is not the only one, but it's the one that we found. So, yeah! It's so windy today. Yeah, I can feel. So, we're just cleaning it. Let's go. Master! Okay, so these are the spots that I wanted to introduce to you in Jeju. As you all know, COVID is already over, you don't have to wear masks, so Jeju is a perfect spot for your family. 
summer holiday. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like more of this content, remember to leave it in the comment section down below and I'll see you in the next video.